I have been experimenting for years with putting my photos onto my quilts. My first uh, try at it was not very successful. I had made a ray quilt and I threw um, some large depar department store product onto my quilt. And the very first time I washed it, it almost turned like a plastic. The um, photo got very muted and it got really brittle. So I decided that I was gonna go on an excursion and really try and find a good quality. As you can see, I had found a product that's called Threads. It's a printable fabric. It's 100% cotton poplin. And I have um, printed a few photos of my grandson on it. This is a really neat uh, uh, product. It's got, it's got a paper on the back that you can just peel off. And when you set it, the way that I like to set it is I just run it under cold water after the paper is peeled off. I like to let it uh, sit and dry uh, because I put it through my inkjet printer. You peel this paper off and then you'll, you can iron it and set it that way. I iron it first after I've let it dry. I rinse it under cold water and I actually kind of let it sit in the cold water for a little bit to try and get any of the extra dyes out of it. And then what I'll do is I'll go and I'll blot it dry and um, iron it one more time. Now another one that I've found is the EQ printables. It's an inkjet sheet and it's sateen 283 thread count. It's a really high quality as well. Um, the threads is a little bit brighter and whiter in color and I'm not sure that you can see that variation but it, it does just as well. It gives a very warm color and I do the same thing with this. I let the ink dry. I, I remove the backing. The backing on this one is a little bit different. It's not paper. It's a little bit easier to remove. It's actually a little bit of a cellophane. After I've got it removed, I will press this with a, a hot iron. I don't use steam. And I try to set that in. Once it's cool, I take it to a sink, I lay it in cool water, and let it soak there for a little bit. I lift it up, I rinse it off, I blot it dry, and I bring it back to my iron, and I'm going to once again set it. Then you just cut it up. You can put it um, in the center of a block, you can applique it on, but you can continue to wash that quilt over and over again. And as long as you're using the inkjet printer and a high quality uh, ink, either of these two products are going to be wonderful for you. So I hope that I've solved a dilemma for you. Um, I'm really happy that I was able to locate these two products and I'd love to hear more information. If you have any input, you know, please write to us. Let us know what you found.